hello everyone in this video we are going to go through how to set up a laravel project from scratch now laravel is a popular php web application framework used by many developers to create robust and scalable web applications so by the end of this video you'd have all the tools you need to start building your own laravel project all right Yes, so before we actually start to do something, there are a few tools you need to have installed on your computer before you can actually go ahead and create a Laravel project. Alright, the first one is for us to be able to install Composer. Yes, we need to make sure we have Composer installed on our computer. Now, Composer is a dependency manager for PHP. Alright, yes, so... In order to have it installed, just head to this website here, getcomposer.org. Alright, getcomposer.org. So let me just open up an editor here. So get, I think this font size is too small. So let me just change this one to like maybe a 20. Alright, yeah, so head to getcomposer.org. Alright, when you head to that site, you can actually, I mean, get to download Composer onto your machine. Just hit on this download button here and You would be brought to this page here and then just make sure you look for um, an installable file okay just look for an installable for this one here all right yes look for this one here just go ahead and download that one and make sure you install it on your machine all right yes now the next thing that i want us to also install is node.js yeah so when you head to this website here, all right? Node.js.org, all right? You will be able to get Node.js downloaded onto your machine. So make sure you select the long term support, the LTS here. Make sure you download that one. Now, what Node.js is going to allow you to do is that you would be able to install packages from the npm server right yes it will help you to be able to manage your uh, node package dependencies do you get it yes there are times that you would need to add third party libraries and all those things to your project from npm and to be able to do that you need node.js installed so that is the essence all right good now we also need some web server all right to be able to serve our application now you know php is a server side language it doesn't run in the browser and so therefore we need some sort of server to be able to serve our application or debug our application locally all right so the best recommended um, local server that you can have installed on a machine is xamp or zamp all right so you head to this website here, apachefriends.org. Alright. Apachefriends.org. This one here. Okay, so when you're on this website, when you're on this website here, okay, you just make sure you go ahead and select SAM for Windows. I mean either for Linux and also for Mac Macintosh operating system. So I am on Windows, so I will just have to select Zam for Windows like that. So you get it. And as you can see, it has been indicated here how some remains my download will start automatically any moment. If it doesn't start, you can get just go ahead and click on this link here and I believe download will be triggered i have already downloaded this and installed it so i'm not going to bother about that you see 
so i'm using a download manager and it has taken over the download process so let me go ahead and cancel this one all right now after you finish installing these three things let's actually check if you have them installed or not so i'll go to my start menu and then i'll search for cmd command prompt okay so when you have your command prompt opened the first thing you're supposed to do is let's say we want to check for our composer version so you just have to type composer yes composer space and then hyphen v okay like that and you can see a lot of commands coming through now on top here so it has been indicated I mean with a fancy writing composer it means that you have composer installed had it not been that it would even tell you that doesn't know what this um, command is composer hyphen v right yes it doesn't know what it is but now that you have made sure you have it installed this is what you are going to see all right now the next command is for us to check for our node js version so let's say node space hyphen v and we are seeing version 18.12.1 right, so that is my current version installed on this computer are you good all right now you'd also have to make sure that you install your xamp software to be able to serve your application all right now when it comes to database management for your application to you need exam because it comes with uh, my sql database pre installed in it you get it so you, you can be able to create database for your application create your migrations your models and what have you you get it all right so in order to make use of that i've already installed this one and here is it like that okay yes so you have to make sure you have uh, your zamp installed and started as well so whenever you open it you're going to see all these functionalities but normally what you're going to be working with is the apache model here or well, these are all services i'm going to be seeing i mean apache mysql filezilla mercury some card like that but like i said normally you're going to be working with the apache and then mysql all right yeah so as you can see i have these two models or services running make sure you check yours or on the action side here just click on start start for this ones for them to be able to start running all right good and I, I think when you're able to do these things you are pretty good to go to start creating your laravel project all right now let's go to the official website of laravel to see how we can actually set up our project so when you're on this website laravel.com make sure you select get started okay all right so when you click on get started you can see the current version is what 10.x upwards all right you get it 10.x it means that's version 10 and upward okay now on the installation section here let's navigate down to see what we can do okay so it is saying your first um laravel project so these are a few commands we need to run let's see create composer create project and then laravel should laravel example lab okay all right now I don't want us to use this command yet let's use the second one so first of all let's copy this one and then make sure we install laravel globally so that we can be making use of this command instead of this one here do you get it this one is a bit lengthy so let's make use of this one and then subsequently we can make use of this command this one is pretty short so let me copy this one here and then go back to my terminal all right let me clear the console okay all right so i'm just going to paste this command here 
Composer Global Require Laravel Installer. And I'll just hit enter. Okay, so it is actually downloading Laravel and then installing it globally on my machine. Okay, now it is true. The installation process is done. So again, let me just go ahead and clear this one here and go back to the website and copy this command here and go back to the terminal and then paste this one here okay laravel new example app now before i go ahead and execute this command let me clear the command first and then make sure i navigate to where i want to create the project so i want to create it perhaps on my desktop so i'll say that dir and just to list all the directories that are available in this user so let me change the directory to desktop change c i mean cd desktop like that and currently i'm on desktop and what i can do i'll just go ahead and type laravel new then i'll say first uh, project first project first project okay then i'll just hit enter as you can see it has triggered the laravel installation process this is going to take a bit of time let's wait patiently for it to finish installing okay okay it is going to take a bit of time okay so let's just wait patiently for that normally i don't like skipping my videos uh, i don't like sp skipping my videos so whatever the process is i make sure i wait for you to actually see how things are really working under the hood so let's wait patiently for this one to finish installing so that we can actually continue from there
all right so our installation process is actually done all right now let's go ahead and open this project in our preferred id or editor so i'm going to be using visual studio code so if you have like um, sublime text notepad plus plus atom whatsoever editor go ahead and use that but i am going to be using visual studio code so i'm simply going to navigate to the project folder that i just created and then serve it up or open it up with visual studio code so i'll say change directory to first project like this and then i'll just type code then space and then a dot like so and then i'll hit enter so as you can see it has opened up the project folder inside vs code official studio code for me all right now whenever you open the project folder in your id there are so many things you are going to see okay so you have the app folder the bootstrap folder the config folder database public resources route storage test and some few other files as well now these are all equally important they are helping your laravel project to actually i mean run successfully or they are all playing a role to make your laravel project i mean run properly or work properly okay but then there are a few things that or a few files and folders that normally you're going to be working with all right now the first folder i want to talk about here is the app folder now this contains all the files all the folders regarding the entire application and this is where you're going to be creating your controllers locating your migrations your date i mean your models and creating your various routes and controllers like that all right yes um most importantly to your views right your views you are going to be creating them in the app folder here all right yes now i want us to talk about the config folder so here normally you are not going to be coming here okay but then know that they are part of a laravel application just to see to it that the application is running as intended okay now there is a database folder resources folder routes storage test vendor and all those things now we are going to take time and then go through all this folder in subsequent videos but for now i'm um, just to show you how to first create your project and then save it so that you see how laravel project actually looks like then in our subsequent videos we actually delve into looking at how to manipulate some of these files customize it and then how to even create databases and all all that like that you get it okay so let me just go ahead and open my terminal here okay and then i'm going to type this command php artisan so php artisan serve now this is going to spin up a local development server for us to be able to serve our application here let me just go ahead and hit on enter and as you can see it has created a url for us to be able to view our application all right so let me just go ahead and hold the command key or the control key and then select this link so as you can see it has started loading our application in the browser okay this is taking longer than usual
okay so let me go ahead and do some few changes i think by the time we come back um this might have been loaded successfully so i'll go to my resources folder here and then i'll look for a folder called views okay now this is the first page you're going to be seeing whenever you create your laravel project for the first time okay let me go back and see if it has finished loading yes so this is the first page you are seeing here all right so as you can see the title is what laravel let me go ahead and tweak this one to maybe first first laravel project make sure it is saved go to file and save let's go back and see what we are having refresh this and as you can see it is indicated over the first laravel project all right i can equally get rid of this welcome page here by creating my own view so let me just go ahead and do that i'll say inside this view folder let me say that i'm looking for um let's say home dot blade dot php and then let me generate the basic um boilerplate for html and say let's say home all right and let me just say um, there is a div here with an h1 tag maybe indicated first laravel 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 project okay make sure this one is saved now we need to go into the controller or the route that is controlling this view here so i'll just have to make sure i go into the route folder here route and then look for web.php all right yes and as you can see it is this route here that is returning the welcome page for us so let's change this welcome to home you get it all right now let's go back make sure the file is saved and let's go back to the browser and refresh so as you can see it has now changed to the file that we just created this home here yes and we can actually go ahead and do so so many things like add a database connection and then do few migrations and what have you but this is just a basic setup all right this is just a basic setup okay yes yeah, so that is um, pretty how to go about it and that is it for this video believe in the subsequent ones we are actually going to look at how to add more functionality to our basic projects Do you get it yes so we've covered how to install laravel configure environment and then serve our application all right and we have done some few customizations as well i have to note that laravel is a powerful framework with many features and we've only scratched the surface of what it can do all right yes We've got a lot to explore and i hope this video has helped you get started with your own laravel project and as always thanks for watching and don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel thanks for watching bye